In this video, I'll be showing you how you can take your renders from Blender into After Effects for compositing them. I don't know if it will be a super detailed video, but I'll be breaking down the compositing that I did for my alternate realities animation so that you can get a practical understanding of how you can do something like this with your own work. Before you watch this video, I suggest that you watch my animation breakdown first as it will give you a better idea of how I constructed the scene as well as how I rendered it out. Also, I'm sorry that I couldn't post this video earlier. I just signed up for some stuff that I needed to finish before I could start working on this one. I used a lot of render layers for this project and the first step for me was to combine all of these. You don't have to render out your scenes like I did, but try to at least render everything out as a sequence of images instead of a video file. That way, not only do you ensure that you don't lose all of your rendering progress if blender or your pc happens to crash while rendering you can also change the frame rate of your video later fix any artifacts that might have appeared in one single frame easily and also maintain transparency in your render layers because that is crucial when you're working with them now the way you can import image sequences as video clips in after effects is by selecting the first frame and then checking this tiff sequence or png sequence or whatever the file format that you export it to and then you simply click on import if you exported the images with transparency it may ask you to label your alpha channel just go to straight unmatted and it should work just fine so that's how i got everything into after effects after which i layered them accordingly to get the whole image i needed to mask out some parts to make them fit properly but that was just because i made some errors while preparing the render layers i also downloaded a sky texture to use for the background used the turbulent displace effect on it and animated the turbulence offset to add some movement to the clouds that completes the first step the next step for me usually is to do the color correction and gray I tinted the shadows with a blue color so that I get that ominous dark tone I was aiming for. Now that the basics were done, it was time to add the stuff that makes everything fit together. I started off with some highlights, just kind of made them bloom a bit by using soft shapes and then using a screen or linear dodge blending mode. Then I added the mist for some extra atmosphere before we move on to adding the rain. I made the mist by using a fractal noise effect on a solid black layer and then set the blending mode to screen. So for the rain, I mainly had three layers. One was the most dense rain with medium sized droplets and then I made one with smaller droplets and then one with big droplets and I made them kind of blurry so that they appeared closer to the camera. The effect that I used to make all of these was the CC rainfall effect. Combining all of these it looked really cool and added a lot of dimension to the scene especially because of how well it worked with the mist. Now I know that I'm not going over how to create the rain and stuff because then this video would be just unnecessarily long and off topic but these are topics that you can easily search up on YouTube and and get plenty of tutorials for. Anyway, the next step was to add some finer details. So that included the rain rolling down from the roof and then falling down and the splattering of rain from the roofs, the rocks and the signboard. I used the CC Particle System 2 effect for this. You can look up tutorials on how to create rain splatters and whatnot in After Effects and I'm sure you'll find lots of them. If not, then let me know and I'll make a separate tutorial on it next. This pretty much sums up my compositing workflow in After Effects. To give you a quick recap, the first step is to layer all the render layers into a complete image then i try to tweak the colors a bit see what works for the scene or if it was a recreation of an image or clip i try to get it looking as close to it as possible then i try to add details by looking at real life images or asking other people by showing them a work in progress then there's just a lot of tweaking and refining until i have something decent you want to make sure you spend some time on this part because it can really ruin your final output but then again you also want to make sure that your scene looks good enough without any post processing because you can't expect to import some trash and magically transform into something glorious. This is kind of what happened to me with this scene. Uh, this scene took way too long to render especially with all the render layers and once it was done I realized the lighting wasn't as good as I expected it to be and I didn't have the option to render it all again as the contest deadline was very close. This pretty much happened because of a random decision I made about turning it into a night scene instead of a daylight scene but I'm still happy that I went through with it and finished it. I also learned a lot from it with which I can hopefully apply to future projects and make them look better. Now, once you're done with everything, you want to export it as a .avi file with no compression. After this, you can bring it into a software like DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro and then add sounds and music or whatever you like. And finally, export it as a .mp4 or .mov file. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful or at least gave you an idea about the workflow. Let me know if you have any questions by commenting. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.